Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our next CEI Council Communications presentation. Um, as you can see, a whole new world is coming this June, uh, and it's just right around the corner. And this is Jennifer Fister. I'm the Marketing and Communications Director for Girl Scouts of Virginia Skyline. Hello to everyone this evening. Um, tonight, we'll just do a quick overview of what CEI is, the Customer Engagement Initiative, as well as we're actually going to look at on-time online membership renewal. And we'll look at it from also the advantage point of how you'll actually do it within the new system. Next, we'll talk about what's happening now and how you can help and do a Q&A. So what is CEI? Customer Engagement Initiative. Uh, something that Girl Scouts of the USA started uh, a number of years ago and all the councils are rolling over into it. Um, it is a way that we communicate with our girls and our families, troops, volunteers. Um, it is a way that we're improving and making it easier to volunteer and be a member of Girl Scouting. And uh, like the poster said at the beginning, uh, it is a whole new world for us with uh, a unique and fantastic point of view. And we're really looking forward to this, uh, some great new exciting changes down the road. Around the corner, actually, it's just in a few weeks here. So, CEI in general. CEI in general is, um, it, it comes like in a four-tier area. There is a new online registration system for uh, girl members as well as adult members, and it really shortens the time of onboarding troop leaders um, and, and does it very well digitally and electronically. There's also an opportunity catalog, and this is uh, a way for us to show our different troops and what troops are open. Uh, to accepting members in what area, as well as what volunteers are needed, either at the troop level or the service unit level. Um, also, volunteer toolkit. And this is fabulous, probably my most favorite of all the pieces of the puzzle of the CEI. And this is a great resource for troop leaders um, and allowing them to plan and communicate to the parent uh, and, and planning out their whole troop year, badges and journeys and meetings and such. Um, and last but not least is improving uh, our customer care. Uh, and the biggest part of it is trying to make sure that uh, when a parent or volunteer needs help, they just have to reach out via one person, one, one number, one email, just one person they have to reach out to. And that They'll actually pass it on to the correct person, get the information, or they'll respond. Um, we're creating a solutions log so that we can, you know, deal with uh, easy and most frequently asked questions. Um, we're asking everyone just to please pardon our dust for a bit. We are in the midst of transitioning right now uh, between different departments and different positions, uh, and we'll will probably, by the end of June, be fully transitioned over. Um, our primary date we've set as June the 12th for the major transition to happen. Uh, but after the switch, you just need to remember two things in order to contact uh, anyone at Girl Scouts. Just our phone number or our email address, so 540-777-5100 or info at gspsc.org. Uh, what's also nice is you can always just always stop in as well at headquarters, the Skyline Shop, service unit meetings, different events will be there as well. Um, so tonight we are going to reveal our membership renewal that we have coming up. We weren't able to do early bird this year because of this transition to a new volunteer system. Um, so we decided to do an on-time online membership renewal from July the 17th to September the 15th. So I'm going to share with you our incentives and prizes and uh, some of the new cool stuff that we have uh, coming up here. So the basics. Uh, renewal um, officially does open on July the 1st. All the renewal fund that we're going to be doing, we're actually going to launch July 17th. Um, it'll end September the 15th. 
And uh, this is renewing for the 2018 membership year, which it comprises of starting in October the 1st, 2017, to September the 30th, 2018. Uh, Girl Scout membership this year did go up. Uh, for adults, it's $25. And for girls, it's $32. Um, for lifetime members, like myself, I'm a lifetime member, uh, we have to renew uh, our membership role in order to earn renewal incentives. Basically, we're just popping in there and, and, and making sure that our, um, our position code or, or how we're involved with, the, with Girl Scouting is updated within that. And if we have anything that else that needs to be updated, address, information, um, email address, phone number, things like that. We can keep everything current and up to date. Um, some tips for troop leaders. Um, you can actually, in the new system, renew your entire troop at one time. And we will um, discuss a little bit of that in a moment. Uh, you can also keep your troop information up to date in there. Um, and you can register new girls in this system uh, directly uh, as a troop leader. Um, so we will pop over real quick and take a look. Uh, in order to renew, it'll actually be off the website. It'll go over on our website. We will have a My GS tab at the very end here, and then you'll actually click on Member Profile. You'll put in your username and your password for that. And from there, you'll actually open it up. It'll open up in the Membership Troop tab. I'm sorry, Membership tab. But you'll click on the Troops tab, um, and from there, you'll be able to actually register your entire troop. Um, over here, you actually want to select the next year. Sorry. Ah. And um, after that, you can actually, uh, from after selecting the next year, uh, for each member that you want to renew, you can select the Renew drop-down under the Renewal Choice area. Um, and for anyone you're not renewing at this time, you can choose I'll decide later. Then you'll click continue. Next, you'll be asked to accept the Girl Scout Promise and Law. You'll accept that, click continue. Then there'll be a payment screen that you can enter your credit card information. Um, and then from there, you'll click continue. Um, and for those who uh, have um, who need or require financial assistance for different members of your troop, that'll also there'll be a screen there as well that you can. Uh, request that and it will be um, sent to you the information by email. After uh, you put in um, your credit card information, you actually can review all the girls and adults you selected to renew on the confirmation page before you click submit. Um, once the transaction is complete itself, you'll be sent an email and in it will be an itemized receipt. Um, and you can click on a link to print this if you want to. So. Um, you can also update your troop information if needed for the different girls in your troop or your own information. Um, so the prizes, always, anytime we do a renewal or early bird, we, we like to have some, uh, we like to have a, a little incentive here and there. So for girl and adult members, which includes lifetime members, um, we're doing this eight-week program, uh, like I stated before, it's from, uh, July the 17th to September the 15th. And during this time, this eight-week time, if you sign up during any time, you actually uh, receive a free patch. And there's the picture of the patch down below. It's the power of the GIRL. It's the new uh, kind of brand initiative that they have going on. And then there's also prizes. For service unit. So for a service unit, if by day one, and day one meaning July the 17th, if they have 70% uh, of the girl members in their service unit are renewed, then they're actually placed into a drawing. And the drawing is for a free camp weekend at one of the GSVSD camps for a service unit camp, a re-event, whatever they want. We'll go through and we'll choose one service unit winner from there. So um, that's a pretty awesome, especially for service units who actually do camp reads at the different camps at Camp Ishimani or Camp Sacagawea or Camp Sugar Hollow. It's a great way to uh, get a free weekend at camp. Next, 
the prizes for the troops. Um, so troops actually are these incentives that we have. Uh, they're eligible uh, for, to win one weekly drawing. So you can't win more than one weekly drawing. But there is a grand prize we'll discuss at the end. And everyone, even if they win one of the week drawings or day one drawings, they will be eligible again to win the grand prize. So on the first day, July the 17th, for our renewal fund kickoff, there will be a drawing of all the troops, troops who have renewed 70% of their troop girls and two leaders. There will be a drawing for a $150 gift card so that the troop can use it for supplies and get kicked off the fall right. So one troop winner will be chosen from all uh, who have actually uh, renewed by day one. And then for the next, for week one, by July the 24th, if they've renewed 80% of troop girls and two leaders, there's a drawing for a Girl Scout movie night and popcorn party. Um, and it'll be an outdoor movie, actually, at Camp Sacagawea on September the 23rd. And they're going to pick four troop winners for that. Week two, um, similar, renew 80% of the troop girls and two leaders by July the 31st. They'll do a special drawing for the Great American Eclipse Program Kit. The uh, sun eclipse is happening on August the 21st, and we have a really cool program kit uh, that a troop can use to watch the sun eclipse. Uh, four troop winners will be chosen from that. For week three, which is by August the 7th, uh, renewing 80% of your troop girls and troop leaders, um, same as week one and two, uh, you will, we will have a drawing for a karaoke party. So sing along fun at Camp Sugar Hollow on September the 30th. Uh, one troop winner will be chosen. Um, for the karaoke party, we actually decided that, you know, any troops that have met their criteria by this time, if they want, they can also sign up to join uh, for, uh, to, to actually uh, come out uh, for $7 a girl for this sing-along uh, karaoke party, but one troop will be chosen and they get to go for free. Uh, same with week four, they're doing the Girl Scout Glamour Jamma PJ party. So we're talking about a slumber party, a spa style slumber party at Camp Hishimani on the weekend of October the 14th through the 15th. Um, so one troop winner will be chosen for this and very similar to how the karaoke party They've got uh, additional room opened up, so they are offering it up for those troops that have met the criteria um, that it's $10 a girl to sign up. And then we have week five. Um, week five, six, and seven actually are special gift card drawings. Uh, they're similar with the renewing of 80% of troop girls and two leaders. Um, week five is by August the 21st for a $75 gift card of your choice to be mailed out to help with troop supplies. Week six is a drawing for $50. And week seven, $25. Um, week eight is a special drawing that we're doing for troops to highlight and feature a troop in the Girl Scout Connection e-newsletter, as well as on all of our social media channels that Girl Scouts of Virginia Skyline have. And one troop will be chosen for that as well. Um, and of course, all through weeks one through eight, uh, if uh, your troop, your girl, adult member, if you register during that time, you'll receive a free patch, the Power of G-I-R-L patch. And then we have the grand prize. So all the troops are placed in for the grand prize drawing. And the grand prize for the troops, um, one troop will win $500 in program bucks. So um, if you've earned any of the weekly incentives, um, you'll be automatically entered into this, and you'll get credit towards troop programming. So something run by the council or collaborator, local service unit, uh, you're getting $500 bucks to, uh, for your troop for program bucks. So uh, one troop winner will be chosen for that, for the grand prize, which I think is pretty cool and awesome. Um, any questions about our incentive program that we have or the on-time online renewal for membership? Lots of cool prizes, lots of cool incentives.
Becky, any questions? I see Becky's on. No, I don't have any questions. <laughs> Hi, Becky. Thanks. Well, I'll move Hello. on to the end. <laughs> so the CEI timeline, where we're at now, um, we're actually going to have um, access to the new system in mid to late June. Um, and staff will transition over at that time as well. We're currently in the transitioning phase. Um, staff recruitment specialists uh, are reaching out right now to service unit teams to uh, get ready for fall membership. Uh, and if you have any questions right now in between the transitioning, you know, reach out to your volunteer support manager and she'll be able to help you with anything that you need. Um, until then, because at one point you will receive this month an email invitation to sign into the new system. I think I have a sample of it here that I found. It's here. Yeah, your invitation is CEI. So the emails will be sent sometime between the 16th to the 23rd. When we get the exact date, we will let volunteers know. Um, Girl Scouts USA will let us know and we'll pass it along. There's actually going to be two emails sent out. One is a heads up email. Uh, it'll actually be coming from the Girl Scout of the USA account, GSUSA Customer Care. And then the second one will be a welcome and sign in. Um, and here is the heads up email. So it's literally letting them know they're going to receive an email, but also letting them know that, uh, that, that they um, make sure that uh, everything is current in their computer system. And they do recommend Firefox or Chrome or anything after uh, Internet Explorer, IE9. Works pretty well with the new system. Um, so when the second email comes, they'll actually ask you to reset the password. So that's the first thing you're going to do. You'll have a username, which should be your email address, which is nice. And then you will actually set the new password yourself. And from there, you'll actually be able to go in and enter in to, and this will be on our website, on Girl Scouts of Virginia Skyline, the MyGS area. You'll have the membership profile, which you'll be able to renew from there, and the awesome volunteer toolkit. Um, how you can help. Uh, one of the best things we've asked volunteers um, to do is to help spread the word about CEI, that it's coming, that we have a new volunteer system coming. It's more than a membership system. It's a total revamp of how we do business so that we're more efficient, more effective, and it's easier on the volunteers and on the parents so they can get their questions answered as soon as possible and get moving into becoming a troop leader and get moving into becoming a girl member. It's to make things seamless. Um, and easier and more efficient. Um, other, you know, it's continued business as usual right now. We're going to summer camp coming up. We're going to start on time online renewal. So we still got uh, Girl Scouting going on. Uh, if you can attend a weekly presentation or take a look, we always have uh, on our YouTube channel for Girl Scouts of Virginia Skyline. We have all the presentations there as well as on our website at gscsc.org backslash CEI. Um, and as always, always ask questions. The more questions we have, uh, the more answers we can get, and we can make this transition as smooth as possible. Um, any other questions? Becky, do you have any questions about CEI that you need answered tonight? No, I don't think so. Cool. Um, I figure most people are going to have a lot more questions when we get into the system itself. And we'll actually have a lot of open um, weekly meetings <laughs> online so we can help people out and um, with questions then. So, but thank you, Becky, for being You're here. Welcome. And uh, for those of you out watching this video, uh, have a great day. And thank you for all you do. We could not have an incredible movement and mission of Girl Scouting without you. So thank you so much and have a great evening. Bye everyone.